There's a saying in business that goes, if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. WooCommerce is there to answer that door. It's an infinitely flexible and customizable tool that lets you sell anything you want. Welcome to my YouTube learning course on WooCommerce with WordPress. We'll go over everything you need to know to build your first online store, including some of the most challenging aspects such as payment, shipping, and taxes. I'm Sana Ali and I've built dozens of stores. For this course, we'll be setting up WooCommerce on a WordPress website. You don't need to know how to write WordPress code, but it would be helpful to have some WordPress knowledge, such as how to install WordPress itself, how to install themes and plugins, and how to add pages and posts. If you'd like a refresher, I recommend WordPress Essential Training in the library. I'll cover everything you need to know with WooCommerce, but knowing a bit about e-commerce in general, such as the cost of acquisition, customer life time value, as well as how you plan to get people to your site, can be really helpful. Basically, it'll be helpful if you know what you're going to sell and how you're going to sell it. That'll make sure you set up your WooCommerce store correctly. My WordPress e-commerce course in the library covers all these fundamentals if you want to take that first. Throughout this course we'll be using the free WooCommerce plugin. The majority of the videos in this course will cover all of those free features, but some plugins will highlight premium plugins that do have a yearly fee. You don't have to buy any of these premium plugins, as the course is designed around the free plugin, but we do show them to you so you know when and where they're useful. If you're a store owner or if you're a developer going to build a site for a client, you will either get asked to use WooCommerce or you will have to think about why you want to use WooCommerce. WooCommerce has a couple of amazing things going for it. First of all, it is built on WordPress. That means that you can leverage all of the tools and services built on top of WordPress. There are thousands of free plugins and themes available to you. WordPress was created in 2003. Normally, software doesn't make it into the teenage years because it unravels as people lose interest. But this hasn't happened with WordPress. It's only getting bigger and bigger, and the space is maturing. No matter what you need, someone else has also had that need and developed a theme, plugin, or custom code to solve that issue. The second selling point is that WooCommerce, like WordPress, is open source and GPL licensed. Open source means that you can look at every single line of code to see what it's doing. You can rip out or edit any line of code that you want. You could completely rewrite WooCommerce for your own purpose. Because it's open source, you can literally do anything with it. Most e-commerce platforms are hosted, and the source code is hidden, so there are things you won't be able to do. The GPL license is a bit harder to explain. The easiest way to understand it is that it's one of the most liberal licenses. It lets you use the software however you want for as long as you want, without having to pay. What's great about the GPL from a business perspective is that even if the unthinkable happened, and automatic, the company behind WooCommerce went out of business, the community could continue to develop WooCommerce and distribute it. The third selling point is that WordPress is very strongly tied to content. WordPress started out as a blogging platform, so there are thousands of plugins just about blogging, content, and SEO. Many e-commerce platforms throw a blog on as an afterthought. It isn't a primary feature, and it's pretty basic. If you plan on doing content marketing for your store, then having a fully featured blog is essential, and you should choose a platform that's tied strongly to content, like WordPress. The fourth selling point is the huge number of developers that you have access to. If you ever need something totally custom, there are hundreds of thousands of WordPress developers that you can reach out to. On freelancer.com, they list 100,000 WordPress developers, and that's just one site. Chances are there's a WordPress meetup in your town where you could meet a developer face to face. So far, we've really only talked about WooCommerce and WordPress's platforms. We haven't even gone into any of the features, and WooCommerce has a ton of features. WooCommerce lets you sell physical products, downloadable goods, subscriptions, memberships, pre-orders, name your own price products, and more. It's incredibly customizable. You can sell any type of product in any way you want. It also integrates with some of the biggest payment gateways out there, so you can get paid however you want to get paid, whether that be through Stripe, PayPal, or any of the 100-plus official payment gateways on WooCommerce.com. It also integrates with all of the major shipping providers. You can get live quotes from UPS, USPS, and FedEx. You can export these orders into fulfillment software, like ShipStation and Ordoro. And of course, you can print labels at home. WooCommerce is a solid platform for store owners because it has a lot of integrations, and it's solid for developers because of the open source nature of the platform and how customizable it is. Whether you're starting a new e-commerce store or replatforming from an older system, you can't go wrong with WooCommerce. We're going to create our own store with a pretty much bare-bones WordPress website.
site. You can follow along with your own WordPress site. We'll be using the 2019 theme at first, and later in the course, we're going to look into another great WooCommerce theme called Storefront. You should be able to follow along with 2019 Storefront or any other WordPress or WooCommerce theme that you have installed on your site. There's a few pages that we should set up before we install WooCommerce. I've already created and filled out an About page. The About page is you telling your story to the customer. I've also created a Contact page, which is where people can reach us. If you need a refresher on creating pages or installing themes, all of that is covered in the WordPress Essential Training course. There's one thing that I want to show you here that is a bit of a trick. If you notice, I'll go back to the About page here for some themes. Comments might be enabled on your pages. Comments make a lot of sense on blog posts, but not a lot of sense on pages. So let's turn these off. I'll go to the admin, I'll go to pages, and I'll select all of my pages here. Go to bulk actions, change this to edit, apply, and comments, do not allow, and then click update. I'll go back to my about page, scroll down, and I no longer see the comments box. So that'll make our pages a little bit more page-like. We should also set up permalinks. If you see the page ID equals 8, then you haven't set up permalinks yet. Let's go back to our admin and then go to settings, permalinks, and change this to any option other than plain. So, day and name will work, month and name will work, numeric, post name. I'm a big fan of day and name. And click save changes. We'll go back to our about page and refresh it. And now we have a much prettier permalink. This will work for our about page and contact page, as well as our product pages, which we'll create a little bit later. Now that our site is ready for e-commerce, let's move on to installing that WooCommerce plugin.